In today's video, we are going to talk about the Red Komodo and all the advantages that this little baby brings to your productions. We are going to discuss things such as the Komodo build quality, Komodo sensor, color science, global shutter, ergonomics, form factor, the R3D. We are going to talk about the control app with the Komodo which is amazing and we are going to talk about low battery consumption, the RF mount, which is going to be very popular in the future and I will tell you why. And talk about one of the best thing to ever be in the RED camera, that is face detection autofocus, which is generally better and faster than any form of autofocus out there. So thanks RED for trying. I also want you to stay till the end because the conclusion is always interesting i'm going to tell you what i think between the komodo and the black magic pocket 6k coming up what is up beautiful people i am kashi lembo i'm a dp director based in london and this channel is all about filmmaking gear review tips and tricks to help you improve your visual storytelling and if that's something that you're into make sure you check my other videos and a sub to this channel would be magnifique. And now let's talk about the Red Komodo, a Michael Bay inspired camera that was originally made to be a crash cam for big Hollywood productions. But Red really wanted to focus on making the Komodo still maintain the cinematic look and feel of its big brother's DSMC2. The Komodo is a lightweight champ in its own category that weighs just under one kilogram with a unique boxy or cubic design with two built-in BP900 series battery plate with very low battery consumption. This is one of those things that makes a huge difference and also another benefit in when you want to rig the camera super small. And the best thing about these batteries, they are hot swappable. So let me give you a quick story. We are on set with my AC and I keep looking at him and he's giving me this look like, oh no. And I'm like, what's happening is that the battery is nearly dying. I'm like, dang, we have to switch the camera off. So we call off stop and the actors was like, wait, did we mess it up? I was like, no, we have to change the battery. So with the Komodo, you don't really have that. So if one battery is dying, you have to swap it and put another one without get, getting to switch the camera off. So that is a very good thing with the Komodo. And we're also going to talk about how RED is going to start making these batteries later in the video. The Komodo also has a two pin DC power, has a built in uncompressed 24 bit audio stereo mics integrated 3.5 millimeter audio jack and microphone input. The Komodo has a dedicated Wi-Fi antenna for wireless video via the control app. This might not seem like a big deal, but this is a really game changer. And we used to pay 170 pound for an app called Full Control, but those guys was fooling us until Red managed to make their own, which is free and that is amazing. I don't know if Red have sold the rights to these guys, but I would love to see this app being open to so many people that has other Red cameras so they can use it as well. But they are almost similar and with the Komodo, it's free. And the best thing about that is that you can operate one or more Komodos remotely through the IP address. So that is the best thing to be in the Red Komodo and it actually works better. The Komodo also has a 4K SDI with better video outputs than some of its bigger brother red dragon i'm calling you out and if you feel like you want more information there's an ext pod for you for recording options red has blessed you guys with the cfast 2.0 which is great for low cost media and this made the komodo the first red camera that is built to work with third parties accessory which i'm hoping we're going to see more red cameras using things such as cfast express or cfast 2.0 red we love your cameras but we don't love the price of your accessories. The Komodo has an integrated 1440 by 1440 built-in touchscreen monitor that allow you to preview and control your camera, which does not look like much, but it makes it easy and 
possible to rig the camera even super small and you still know you're getting a picture listen if you rig your camera to a car you know the least things you put on they better because sometimes when people are fast the wind and everything so with the Komodo you can rig the camera super small and you check yes I'm getting a picture let's go and the best thing about the control app is that you can actually follow your car and then you check in on your phone and you're still controlling everything I've done this with some other red cameras and I tried on the Komodo it works better this is truly amazing for the camera that I've just proven to all of us that size doesn't matter with its small and compact size the red Komodo is not plastic and it's built with aluminium which gives it this premium feel in your hands the body is very minimal which is good I guess but red I would love to see few preset buttons that allow user to set some custom function for ease of use but then again you have the control app that you can use to control your camera so I don't know now let's talk about the red Komodo sensor a brand new 6k super 35 global shutter image sensor with 16 stops of dynamic range which is very impressive being able to skip the rolling shutter that's what makes the Komodo an action camera for so many production this is a big deal to me considering most of its big brothers still carry a rolling shutter sensor so it's even much bigger than what most of you guys think because since the CMOS sensor camera we've discovered that moving the camera in certain way to get those quick pan it's almost impossible and if you do that you get an image that's very jarring but the Komodo does not have that issue of rolling shutter and for VFX CGI it brings so much to the table and the Komodo sensor being slightly wider than Super 35 it brings so much advantages that some of you already know also the global shutter allow filmmakers to shoot faster movement without the image bending diagonally meaning the Komodo is built for action and lets you focus on being creative without any sensor limitation except from some slow motion which we're going to talk about at the end of this video meaning you can pan quick and without noticing those jello effects also having a global shutter and still maintaining 16 plus stop of dynamic range is a bonus as I've mentioned in my last videos some camera that has a global shutter suffer for dynamic range but red has managed to mix these two and give it to you inside the Komodo for the price of one 6k you still pay 6k we are going to talk about that again at the end of this video the Komodo sensor is capable of all this resolution that you can see on screen and I feel like it's limited to some slow motion but that's just me now let's talk about red color science most people know red for its color science but the Komodo brings more resolution combined with the red color science with almost the look and feel of its big brothers depending on who is using this camera don't just think because it's red camera you're gonna pick it up and be a pro again we're gonna talk about that in the end of this video but I personally like how the Komodo treat color and the noise level are not that bad it doesn't have the color fringing like some of the red cameras that I have used again if you don't know more about color fringing I'm doing uh, the review about my red Gemini and I'll point that out in the video that I'll be making we just finished doing a test with the red Komodo and the red Gemini and the OG red one basically the purpose of this test was that we get to see how well the red Komodo would be a become for the red Gemini and also just see how well the OG red one MX is still holding up and the best thing is that we sent those um, clips to a finishing studio so they can edit them and grab them and send them here and we will check them together so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification but what I notice is that everything you get from this small camera is limited to your ability to light, pick good lenses and every other thing because this is a red med camera and you still get that color fidelity from its big brother and apart from the resolution you also get red called RAW which is very good and the best thing about the red code raw it works with final cut premiere pro 
resolve basically any program that you can choose so you may not have a problem using this and now let's talk about the autofocus the red komodo is packed with face detection autofocus which is generally better faster and more accurate form of autofocus out there and one of the big thing to be in a red camera thanks red for trying also, the good news is that the Red Komodo face detection autofocus is still in beta or beta mode. We are definitely going to see more improvement from Red developers team because they have the RF mount which is faster and it has the 12 pin comparing to EF that only has 8 meaning faster data transfer between the camera body and lens. So red engineers we are waiting for you another thing that i found when i was doing those testing is that the less light there is your autofocus is going to start to struggle but it does work very good and there's this particular scene where i told the lady trying to move back and forth because we put the komodo on a tripod to kind of be like a be calm and honestly it was holding up very very good but remember wait for the conclusion because i have my own opinion about the red komodo so now let's talk about the rf mount the only thing that i have to say about the rf mount is well done to red because you have the possibility to adapt any lens of your choice it's also easy and cheap to get a lens mount of your choice to rf mount and those are the things that i feel like they are very good about the komodo and let's talk about a few things that i don't really like about the komodo and something that i have to say is the red operating system or os I'm not going to review that for one reason because I feel like it would not be fair if I just talk about it now and then few months they will improve it. So Red, I'm going to give it nine months and then I'm going to talk about that nine months from now when I review the camera again. The second, I feel like the missing of the anamorphic mode was no good for me because I own anamorphic lenses and I shoot anamorphic all the time. So again, I'm not going to talk about this because we might see an update sometime later that red has improved. So the next thing is not a complaint, but please do not forget to black shed your Komodo when you're using it because you are not going to like the result. Another thing that I've noticed is that the Komodo that I was using had an SDI problem and this might not be an issue with all Komodos, but listen, the guy that had the Komodo or my friend did not want to send it back to Red because it would have taken seven more months. But if anyone is having any trouble with the Komodo SDI, please let me know how to fix it or message me and then I can tell my friend how to fix his. Now let's talk about the BP900 series battery and Red is going to start making these batteries and I know they are going to make them put on their Alpine White logo and call them Red Vault Biden, which means hope, and then sell them for so much more than how much they will usually cost in their original form. And I'm curious to see, please Red, do not sell this so much because I know there's so many people getting the Komodo and they'll be happy if you just can help them to get those batteries at a decent price. So here is my conclusion about the Red Komodo. This box is very expensive and so many of you are buying now because of the Red hype. In fact, if you check in a Komodo group, there's so many people selling the Komodos than so many people buying the Komodo. And that's because you just saw some people using the camera and it's like, cool, I'm gonna buy it. And once they send it to you, you start noticing how much that box is going to cost. Also. So Red is very smart on how they, they make their cameras. They make them and send them to every celebrities and no celebrity will start teasing you guys. You'll be like, yes, Jason Momoa has one. I'm going to buy one. Overall, I think the Komodo is a very good camera for those people who want to splash their money. But for me, there's two things that are in a Komodo that I feel like they're actually would make me buy it and that's the global shutter and the face detection autofocus and I don't pull my own focus I have a team thank god for that and hard work another thing is that uh, the global shutter some of Komodo big brothers still have a rolling shutter so listen I'm happy with my pocket 6k that I think is better than the Komodo why am I saying this is better because Blackmagic have pushed the envelope and give you all these other features that the Komodo 
Ronaldo doesn't have. So if you like this video, guys, give it a like, subscribe, and remember, I'm posting those clip about Komodo, Gemini, and the OG red one. Looking forward to speaking to you soon. Stay creative. Bye.